get started. And who's going first? We've got the official handshake. We've got Tapabulu. What's that Pokemon called? Magnezon? Magnemite. Okay, we've got a Magnemite start. Which isn't bad. If he gets another Magnemite on the bench, he does have free retreat. That'll be the ability on that card. <clears throat> Ultra Ball's away uh, Starmie and uh, Lightning Energy. Searching for that ride too right there. Just gonna leave his options open right now. Looks like he got a bad shuffle. Um, no, you're not seeing things. Some of his cards are upside down. And he's going to pull out the Lele, the Bridget, and a Raikou, Magnemite, and another Raikou. So, pretty solid turn one. He has a fully set up bench with one space left, empty on there. So, maybe later on he'll be able to. Use something like Top of Coco for a GX attack for a knockout. Um, or maybe later he'll need to use another Lele. There he goes. He has Free Retreat. That's the ability of Magnemite. If there's one Magnemite on your bench, then your Magnemite has Free Retreat. <coughs> he has one energy attached to Raikou and passes turn to Tapabulu. Let's see if Tapabulu has the same explosive start that we had from Magnemite. We have an energy attachment, that's a grass energy. We have a fighting fury belt, which puts Tapabulu at 220. We have uh, baby Tapu Coco. Two Grubbins are pulled out with a Bridget. So we have two turn one Bridgets, one regular art and one full art turn one Bridget, but they both accomplished the same thing. Um, four Pokemon on the bench. The only difference is uh, Kevin had that Bridget in hand. He did not have to put down a Top of Lele for it. Top of Lele's Wonder Tag ability did allow for Zack to search and find that Bridget, but in Zack's deck it's not a bad card to have on your bench because at any time once he gets a Magnet Zone out there he can attach as many energy as he wants from his hand. So he could literally attach 8 energy to Tapa Lele if he can get him in a turn. With things like Clement and Fisherman it makes it much easier. Zack is running both of those. <clears throat> He's able to attach another energy to Raikou. And keeps it going here. Does he get the pieces he needs? He does get an Ultra Ball and a very handy. So looks like this turn he will be making a Magma Zone. He will be making a Magma Zone if he wishes right now. So. He wants to keep that energy so he can attack this turn. There he goes for the Magnet Zone. He has Ray Candy in hand. He dishes a Lysander. Is that a Lysander and a... A Lysander and an N. There, there he is. There it is, boys. And we are set up and we will be firing. There's the Ray Candy. There's the attachment from the ability. The ability allows Zack to attach as much energy as he wants in a turn. And he attacks him for, uh, for 110, I think. What's that for 110? 120. It's 60 base damage? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, 
I'm sorry I didn't see the fire fury attached there. <coughs> Must have missed that. Ooh, we have a max potion. He's running max potion in this, folks. Potion took the energy off. Is it gonna help her? Energy up the Tapu Coco. Uh, the regular Tapu Coco. He's gonna hook up. I think it's Fighting Fury Belt to Tapu Bulu. Just increases damage there a little bit. And uh, both of these players will be searching for a field blow at some point to knock these. Fighting Fury Belts off of their opponents. We're gonna get an Ultra Ball, and it looks like we get a Vika Ball and a Grubbin discarded. He gets the Charger Bug, and he just wants to get that up and going and started. Looks like he's going back in, and he's gonna recycle those back into his deck with the Super Rod and an Energy. Okay, so the Ultra Ball goes away, knowing he had the Super Rod. We got the Charger Bug started and just put those cards and the Grass Energy um, from his Max Potion that he had to ditch right back into his deck. And with this deck, you really want your energy in your deck. I'm almost positive he runs two um, Energy Recyclers, which will allow him to put five energy from his discard back into his deck. <coughs> Once he gets a Vika Volt set up, um, it's going to be quite the game here because he's going to be able to search his deck for one grass and one lightning every turn and Zach is going to be attached as much lightning energy as he wants from his hand. He Sycamores, he versus Seeker for his Sycamore and gets a fresh new hand of cards, not bad. I think we will see that star you put down. I don't know if he has a way to get the Starmie out of discard, I guess we'll find out shortly. He's going to start getting that other Radku charged up and ready to attack. So, we'll see what he decides to do here. And then he attacks for 120. Kevin does still have his thing it's called Tapu Wilderness, which is a GX attack that allows him to fully heal, so he fully healed last time with a max potion. Um, he could have another max potion, or he could use his GX attack just to like, really put in work. Um, that would be crazy if he gets two two heals on two 120 attacks. It looks like he got the Sycamore um, from the Tapu Lele ability Wonder Tag. And his bench is full unless someone plays a Skyfield, which I don't believe either one of them now. And we get a Sycamore, discards the Tapu Lele. We see what's in his hand. Go, we get the Vika Roll out and we get an energy attachment to Bulu. So he's going to hook it up and uh, probably if he discards all this energy that will I think that will be a knockout. to heal. Zack puts the damage down and he continues to heal. Tapabulu is OP. 
both of these decks are overpowered. He puts down the star use, so I imagine he has some type of rescue stretcher or uh, or something. He didn't put down the Atheist Conservation because he doesn't want Bulu to have that effect from that as well, so. There's the stretcher right there. Let's see, so. Next turn, we will see. There we go, Super Professor's Letter. It's probably. next turn so he's not to put his energy at risk from the line sander. Um, go ahead and uh, in the comment section let me know what you guys think of their play. We have Kevin from It's Not A Bad Deck and the Top Table playing Tapa Bulu. And we have Zach from Road to the Top Table and Top Table playing uh, Ryaku, Tapa Coco, Magnazone. He's thinking about attaching there, but he doesn't want to put those energies at risk to a Lysander knockout, is what I'm thinking. So... I'm wondering if his Clement is in there. If he decides to go with it, maybe he doesn't. He goes with it. saw maybe the past turn but I guess not here he is I don't think I hope he doesn't play this soon he can't He's in a pickle right now, and he doesn't want to make the wrong play, so I don't know if he should have attached that energy. I think maybe he should have just held it in hand. So he just retreats the magma zone, puts the magmite up, and pass passes. Okay. Not a bad play. He's forcing Kevin to have a Lysander, but Kevin seems to always have a Lysander when he needs it. Seems to always have an in when he needs it. Ooh, I see one lightning in deck. Maybe there was two. And he has this type of cocoa up and popping. So. Baby Top of Coco is ready to put in work if it needs to. It <coughs> and Zach just wanted to make sure that was a fighting fairy belt on top of Lulu that is on the bench. And it was, so plays down. I think we know what he's gonna get. Lysander 
for the rare coup and to knock it out. So now Zach's in a weird position where he has the rescue stretcher, but what does he do? Does he, he almost needs to get the rare coup back on instead of the star eel. Instead of the star eel. I think. Plays it. What is he gonna do with it? That's what I thought he would do. He's gonna shuffle two Raikus and a Starling back in the deck. And his deck's pretty thin, so we may. We may see him. Uh, Stick him more into a bunch of cards he needs. Ultra Ball for sure, he has Ultra Ball in hand. the red coup. How many cards left in the deck? <coughs> Rest of secrets for the Clemont for the for the fisherman. Versus secret for the fisherman. And looks like he's going to Is contemplating scooping and moving on to the next match. <laughs> Tapa Bulu has put in the work. Kevin just let Zach know he has six energies left. He's laughing his face off right now in his famous patented tank top t-shirt. There we go. We get an attack for 120. Someone's got to... Energy. Looks like we have some bad, we have some bad prizes. Zach just jumped for joy, and I really think right now he is regretting attaching that type of Coco. I thought to myself, what is he doing? That was the last energy, electric energy in his deck, but hey, Kevin's a better player than me. I thought he had a plan. A little twin twin twin. There we go. He gets the star. I mean, now the damage will start. He reminds me that he plays Hex. He's reminding him that he played Hex. I think he's reminding me because I missed that play. This knocks him out. Right, we're going to put Top of Coco in and do a little damage to everything. 
But we're not going to be able to do any damage to Raccoon because he subtracts 20 damage from you. Brock's grit. <coughs> so I guess he plays Brock's grit instead of energy recycler. Do you play energy recycler? And then you play Brock's grit instead of the second. One Brock's Grit, one Energy Recycler, one Super Rod. In case you're wondering uh, what Kevin has in the deck. The Tapa Coco does have free retreats, so... We could see a knockout on... Raku here. What a top deck. Got nothing off of the top deck. I thought he got a residue station. I think he did. Oh no, a fighting fury belt. So we got the fighting fury belt. He needs to get some more energy. Ooh. Oh, he's going for the top of Coco. Uh, GX move for the knockout, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. He's looking for the Clement. Is it in there? Is that Clement? And, okay. Gets in. <coughs> yeah, so. Just like that. Look, Kevin is flipping the GX marker over for him. He says, just do it, get it over with, out of the way. And just like that, Zach is up in the prize race. Just like that. And Kevin has pretty much nothing to do but possibly attack with Top of Koga's second attack, or there he goes with his another blue. Let me try to set up a boo here. He's doing double Vika Volt. He's gonna do the double. So he has two out. So he does get a uh, boo set up with a double strong charge, and is able to pull out two grass and one electric. But to knock out Top of Coco, he's not hes not going to be able to knock him out without a field blower. He needs a field blower to knock out Top of Coco right now. And if he does find a field blower, okay. I'm guessing he'll knock out Magnus on. 140 so you can't. Probably has to just take the star me. Is it gonna take the star me? Oh, it takes the time to go for it. Oh. If he knocks him out, that's gonna be all his energy. There 
is if you will, so... I'm sure Kevin has a... Give the uh, camera a little peek of your cards there, Kevin. I know. It is a lot of stickers on my left. <laughs> does he do here? I think she has to. He needs a Raikou down. He doesn't have one. Speaking for two energies. And then he's gonna go to top of top of Lele. Or is he? thinking right now is he gonna have enough to knock out top of blue with seven energy and he's gonna be short he's doing the energy search right now what is Kevin doing right, he just counted Kevin's energies Gonna help him make his decision. Just attach three there. I imagine he's gonna go for his fisherman in here. I don't think he supported yet. This is a long battle here. He goes for the end. We want to see your one card. Yeah. We can see yours because you're playing yours, but... Let's see your top deck there. And attacks. And that. Uh, and uh, looks like Zach picks that game up. Kevin extends the handshake. He took a very. I thought he had it. I mean. Zach, tacked, Zach attacks twice for 120, and Kevin was able to heal both turns. And I know Kevin was feeling really good about that. Come on, man. That's what Kevin just said right now. I didn't see a single rare candy. Come on, man. He thinks he's on Sports Center right now. <laughs> Honestly, I thought you had a really good start. I don't know what you could do much, much better. Maybe turn two instead of turn three. We've got about 17 minutes left, so...
are the boys going to be? Whoa! Holy shoot! Prodigy died. From Mob Deep? I don't know. I, I just read an update on my phone. Nope. Rest in peace, Prodigy. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Maybe you're a little younger than me, but he was pretty. He was a, did a lot of stuff in my time. So. Oh. Alright, here we go. Game two. Game two. Let's see who gets game two. Uh, game two, we are live on the mat. I believe Kevin is gonna go first this time. He's already searching for, I'm gonna imagine, a Top of Lele and a Bridget. So, gets. A better start than Shaman. The only thing that's bad about starting top of Lele is if you don't have a good supporter and you have to ultra ball for another one. We have energy attachment. It looks like Kevin's just going to opt to start attacking with top of Lele as soon as he can. Goodness, a third Lele. This is not wow. This is oh my goodness. <laughs> is that a Skylar for an Ultra Ball? I look for an ultra ball. I think he dropped it in and a recycler for a Vika Bowl. He must have a rare candy in hand. He is not wasting any time, folks. He will make a Vika Bowl. Is this still turn one? He will make a Vika Bowl turn two. Zach did absolutely nothing turn one. <laughs> so Kevin has three Lele's on board, but I think he's feeling pretty good right now. So we're both players have their energy acceleration Pokemon viable and ready to go. Turn two. Um, can't tell what he ditched there. Maybe in conservation. I don't know. Okay. Magnemite and uh, Starmie. Zach is trying to set up quickly so he has some other stuff going on. Going 
Got rid of the field blower. That blows. That was a joke. Getting the dice ready. Pass turned. Getting the dice ready. And we will see what happens next. I can't hear what they're talking about, but they're having a casual discussion over here. Kevin's turn. Strong charge. Do you have no cards in your hand, Kevin? He has no cards in his hand, so. Oh. And he's just going to attack with Lele. It's very dangerous attacking with Lele because. Knowing that Zack can just attack as much energy to his Lele at any point and bop him is pretty scary. It's enough to knock out the Raku. But... So... Four energies and a fighting fury belt on top of Lily this turn. That will be a knockout. Oh, what a top deck. Let's see how he wants to handle this. Let's see how he wants to handle this. Lele. He has a lot of energy left in his deck. There's no energy in his discard pile. We don't know how many left in deck. So he has to make a decision right now. He wants to look through his deck and thin it out a little bit, I think. Let's see what he decides to pick up. find one more energy though. I, mean, I think he knows it's scary. It looks like there's five, six, about maybe well, there's about seven in deck, so he only has the two there though. So he will have enough use the GX attack for a knockout. He has a float stone. What is he going to try to set up for the next turn? We'll go to Seeker for the signal. And we'll get seven new cards. 
Turn in cut. Kevin, we were in the tournament last week. I sick and more drew my cards and then Zach cut my deck. <laughs> Oh, Kevin is not happy about this GX attack, but he did choose, I believe he has maybe one lightning energy left in deck, so he needs his Brock Skirt right now. We know he already discarded his energy recycler. That's the last one in there. But it's up to him whether he wants to knock. No, he can't knock the cocoa off this turn. Is that 120? Oh no, he's got the conservation right. Conservation center out, so it's nice. This is a dangerous move because he has two top ladies on them, so. <laughs> Guys, we have the electric energy left in bed. We will take a huge knockout here if he does. Oh, he has two. He has two weak bolts out. So, whew. Just when you think And Kevin gets a lot of energy out of play with that one prize. Are you gonna take your prize? So he said he already took his prize. So that didn't leave Zach in the best place right there. All his energy is right there. Did you just put two energy back in with that? Oh. Oh, Reiku, okay. Was, oh, right. That was two Reiku and <laughs> Starmie. It's gonna. And we have under five minutes left. Under five minutes left. Will we have a clean victory here? Will Kevin be able to pull out the time? So 
puts it right to a bench and does play the other one. No, he doesn't. Decides not to. Push it in. He's going to try to build the star, star me lineup right now. Yes, he is going to try and build that. It's going to be critical in this late game state. But I don't think it's going to matter much. We will be calling time very shortly. Zach passes turn and says go. <clears throat> Kevin is trying to figure out what the play is right now. That is time. Alright, and energy's not there, so Zach uh Zach uh managed to pull this out and uh let's see if we can't get a quick interview with the winner. Zach, you mind coming over here real quick? Well, he doesn't want to come over, but he's coming over anyways. Let me move this mic right here. And, uh... <clears throat> All right. Joining us in the winner's circle today. Oh, oh. Um, What's going on, guys? So what did you think about game one? He was able to um, heal you two turns in a row after 120. Like, if there's that one point where if he would have had the electric energy and duck and knocked out that Reiki, I, I was... I was I was conceding. <laughs> I was I, over it. Like the he had a fighting fury belt and I couldn't uh, he had four energy, I had Coco in hand, but he had the fighting fury belt so I couldn't knock him out. And I didn't have the field blower. So I was like, Alright like this is horrible and I'm like he's just gonna hex me next turn and knock me out and he didn't like he didn't have the energy. Well, I think yeah. you were contemplating scooping turn or game one. I think yeah, I it heard was. that. Okay. I was. I was real close. And then, like, wow, the comeback was crazy. Like, it all came down to that. Uh, came down to if he had that electric energy, and he didn't have it. And then, then I was surviving. And then I hit, he, he. I think he misplayed when he put a lot of energy out on the board. Yeah, with top of the yeah, with top of the And, so and uh, I just got the cocoa, and it was like he called it though. He knew yeah. He as cocoa. soon as uh, I was like Coco, well, Coco's a game changer. Well. Um, that's it for this yeah. episode of On The Mat. Uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to follow the channel. Subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends. Uh, but for now, we're going to have to scoop it up.